Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another video, man. And today we're gonna be showing y'all how to make a YouTube banner. Actually, I'm gonna be using my own screenshots too. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And with all that being said, let's get straight into it. And for everybody that's been supporting me while I ain't been on YouTube, I appreciate y'all and shout out to y'all. I want to let y'all know that I'm rocking with y'all. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing you want to do when making an iReal thumbnail is go to File, New, and you want to pick 12 by 720. You feel me? You got to have your, your little canvas straight. If it ain't straight, then your thumbnail ain't going to come out right. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. So look, go to File, Open, then you want to go to your downloads, and you want to get your screenshot that you're going to be using. So we're going to use this screenshot right here. You feel me? Shout out my boy Dragon for sending me this. We're going to use this right here, and... We gonna make this bigger. Basically, you wanna get the base image in the center of the thumbnail. And the plan for this thumbnail is gonna have some circles over here, the text, and then we got the image right here. And it's really gonna be popping when we get done with it. So, you feel me? Yeah. So now what you wanna do is hit P on your keyboard, go to the pen tool, and we gonna cut out this image. So just go do that. And I'm gonna cut this out like so. And I'm gonna just speed this up, but pay attention so you can kinda learn how to do it. So once you're done conditioning the dots, you should have something like this. So we're just going to make selection, then hit OK. And we're going to go down here and create a mask on your screenshot. When you get done cutting it out, it should be crispy. And if it's not, don't worry, you feel me? Because most of y'all watching this probably just trying to get better to our real thumbnails. So just keep on practicing them cutouts, and they're going to get scraped. But for right here, when you catch a spot like this, what you want to do is just go in here, cut out the same way. But since you already masked the image, the only thing you're going to have to do it just connect the dot, make selection, but this time instead of making a mask, you already have one. So hit G on your keyboard, make sure you're on the paint bucket tool and click this like that and make sure the color is black also when using the paint bucket tool for that step. So now we're just gonna cut this out also and I'm actually skip this part because you already know how to do it. So I'm gonna fix all these little spots and I'll be back with y'all when I'm done with that. And uh, alternative way to do it is actually going to your brush and making sure your hardness is on zero. And you can lower the uh, size of with the brackets to the left on your keyboard and just go in here, shade it out like so. If you have a little easy spot like that to where you don't actually have to cut it out with the pen tool. Now that we have the image by itself, what we need to do is go in here and up the brightness. And we don't really have to focus on the contrast right now, but we can go up here and do some contrast will add some contrast to the image so now that we have this we'll just hit Control j on that to duplicate it then go down here and we will actually delete the layer mask and you can already see that the image stands out from the background when you make it brighter but we're going to make the background brighter also so go back here create a clipping mask make the background a little brighter but try to make this stand out from the background because this is your main image so now that we have this, I'm gonna go figure out what color I wanna do for the background. And once I figure that out, I will let you all know. All right, so for the background, I'm actually gonna stick to the regular color for right now. But what we can do to the image is just go in here, go to inner shadow, and we can add a little inner shadow to the image and also add an outer, um, not outer glow, but also add a drop shadow to the image of the size on it and lower the distance. And you can just have something like that. Now what we can do is go in here and Hit M on our keyboard to go to the elliptical mark you tool. And this is actually going to make the circle. So make sure you hold shift and drag this out to make a circle um, shape. And hit G on your keyboard to go to the paint bucket tool. You can just right click, go to it over here, click inside that circle shape. And it really doesn't matter what color that is. So now you want to go get an image to put inside of that. Just hit control C. Come over here, hit control V. Create a clipping mask and just put an image inside of this right here. And now that you got that, what you can do is just hold shift or control, whatever you want to do. But just make sure you group those images. Go to the stroke. And I'm probably going to make the thumbnail, this thumbnail around that color right there. So I'm going to try to go figure out the background for that color. But yeah, just make a stroke, make it a certain color. And yeah. All right. So with that color, I ended up going down here, going to hue and saturation. 
and then trying to go to a color similar to that so i went to like a color like this and then i went over to this right here which is the main image went to outer glow and you can copy those settings to pause the video but i just clicked back here to get the color off the wall and i also went on here at an inner shadow and got the color off the wall for that and up the opacity on it and do the distance a little bit more so it can come down on the image like this then mess with the size on it and you can have like a little glow on the image so for back here we'll do the similar uh something similar you can either make the stroke white or you can just select the color back here or select like one of these colors right here and now that you have this what you can do is create a new group and put that group inside of it and go down here to the drop shadow and make a drop shadow and do something like this and you also can add an inner shadow to the image and make sure it's coming right above that stroke right there so you can actually see it pop up and that's how you would do that now we got that we'll just go down here the image inside of the circle will put a clipping mask on it and go to brightness and contrast and just add some brightness to that right there and then we'll go up here and go to vibrance and add some vibrance and saturation over the entire image so now that we have this what we can end up doing is creating a new layer above this image right here go into our brush holding alt and picking the color off of the background and kind of shading it in onto the image like this right here and do that mainly on the right side where you can actually see the glow and it should appear like that right there and we'll just set that to linear dot we're not linear dodge add but we'll do screen for that a lower the opacity but still have it to where you can see it a little bit so it should look something like that and now we'll go to the background hit b on our keyboard select the color to white this time and kind of do that back there put it on overlay Lower the opacity, then hit Control J once more. Um, put that on screen, and then hit Control J and put this on linear dodge add. But lower the opacity on that one right there, and lower the opacity on this one right here also. So now that we have this, we can select the color from back here. Hold Alt, get the color again. Go above the whole image, click with it. Set it to color, and then lower the opacity on it until we have something like this right here and you can just lock that layer like so and we'll make the stroke a little uh kind of darker kind of after that you can go on google and get the fire emoji just right click copy the image bring it on here paste it and cut out the uh, background with the magic one tool and add this around the image so i'll probably add one right here and we'll just right click copy this layer style of the main uh image and put it on there right there and throw these emojis around the image like this and we'll put about three of them on here so put one above the uh, circle one behind the circle kind of like that right there and you can blur them out a little bit if you want to if you want to go to filter blur gaussian blur and add a little blur to it you can all right and for the next image we're just going to do the same thing for the circle so we'll just hit control j to copy that circle then hold shift and drag it over around like in the same spot kind of and i'm gonna go to file open and get the image off of my computer control c come over here hit control v and paste it in the box and do like the same stuff that we just did so this one ain't too much of a good image, but we'll just do about the same thing. Put it in here, have it showing like that, and mess with the brightness and contrast on it. And you can make this smaller and stuff like that too. So you will have something like that. You could just take these same emojis, drag them over here, put them behind the image. And now what I'm gonna do, go do is get a text box, get this one right here. Hit Control J, I'm just cutting it out. Hit Control C, Control V, bring it over here and i'm gonna just put the word w in it use the minecraft font that i have and put the color to black 
put something like that in there you can control duplicate it and put the text over here and just add a drop shadow to it like so now what i'm gonna do is just go to file and open and i'm gonna go get some sunburst out of my pack you can find this on my youtube i'm gonna get this one hit control c just come over here hit control v set this to overlay and i'm gonna make it a little bigger so it can show up a little bit more like that right there so yeah do that and now the last thing i'm gonna do is just go get this text and add on here but one thing i'm gonna do before i get the text is go get my recording symbol so i'm gonna just type that in real quick and you can also find this in my pack just hit control c control v bring it in here and have something like that all right so the list style i'm gonna be used for this thumbnail is gonna be this right here and i'm gonna get this and like i said at the beginning of the video if you want these you feel me get a certain amount of light i might drop it but i'm we'll just bring this in here hit control v and just show y'all how i use it that might give y'all an idea on how to create it i don't know but yeah i'm gonna just come in here and i don't even know what i'm gonna put i guess i'm gonna put sneaker color well shoot i, I don't know i'm gonna find some thumbnails so this is gonna be my bottom text right here and make sure you do have the bird bank fun if you want to be able to create something similar to this but i'm just putting thumbnails right here for the ticks i'm gonna line it up all right so now that you got the bottom ticks i'm gonna make this top on like this right here go down here where it says snack set get that and i'm gonna just name this how to make to make and then that's gonna be my bottom text right there so get this one how to make you should have something like this you're gonna have to scratch this out right here to make that work so i'll just start off with the bottom text and resize it and make it the correct size put it down here and then drag this down here over the text like so let's just get this one right here too and put it right here make sure it's centered and you just drag this over the text too just like you did on the first one And then you want to go to all and just make it smaller because it might be too big for the thumbnail for your way your takes. So now what I'm going to do is just go in here change the color by doing hue and saturation. Going over the whole group, creating a clipping mask, and then just mess with the hue on it. Or messing with the hue on it. And I can just up the saturation if I want to be more saturated. Alright, so now that I got my takes, just select that. Put that on color. Trying to make the color look a little better. Let's uh, uh, blend in with the text a little more. Like that right there. All right, so now I got my text and everything made up. What I'm going to do is just go render this. The control J on that. Rectangle Marquee Tool, right? That's a cross. Right click, convert to Smart Object. Then go to Filter and Camera Raw Filter. And when I get in here, I'm going to just select number 57 because that's the one I use. Then go to Magic Bullet uh, Looks and just go to Diffusion. Turn that up like this right here. Probably around 61%. Magic Aberration. We'll just do that. And then go to Finish once you're done with that. After you're done with this, just go to Topaz Lab Suggest. Then go to Mild Details and do something similar to this right here. And once you're done with this, we'll go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and then we're going to do the Noise Reduction. We'll do noise reduction by a lot and then go to sharpening like this right here. And you should be able to see a difference if you go back and forth. So you can see a little difference in the noise. So we just go down here, get this again, hit control C, come up here, hit control V, put this over the image a little bit more to make the color kind of blend in. And once you do that, it's pretty much how to make the thumbnail. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and more dragon. Peace out.